All right, Katie, we're ready for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Katie Linendahl, tech expert. We're going to be talking about cell phones. But before we talk about cell phone dangers, I read your bio. Yeah. Turns out you're a huge WWE fan. Huge. Huge. Now, are we, huge. Are we talking old school, like 1990s? Oh, I go way back. I have never missed a Monday Night Raw in my like life. Like, to this day? Front row with signs, like... I'm not one of those like, oh, I like wrestling. Like, I am yeah. like hardcore. Yeah. Like, don't talk to me 9 to 11 on Mondays and Fridays 8 to 10. Yeah. I'm out of commission. Got it. I, see, now I used yeah. to be the exact same way. What well, let me tell you first, talking about technology, I still own a VCR. And I have oh. on VHS, but this is why. No. This is why. This is why. On VHS, I have SummerSlam 1991. Main what? event, main event, match made in heaven, match made in hell. Match Made in Heaven, well, was Randy Savage, the Macho Man, marrying Miss Elizabeth. Well, let me guess Match Made in Hell. Go. Um, if you could do this, I'm going to be one. so... I'll imp- get one. There's only... It's a, it's a, I'll like, tell you, it's I'll a handicap match. Over. It's a handicap match? Mm-hmm. So we're talking three people. So it's Taker, Undertaker, Match Made in Hell? Nope. I don't even think Undertaker was on the card. On SummerSlam? 91, yeah. Okay, don't... No, no, no. I'm going to get this. And it was a handicap. Well, it was a three versus two. So that's a handicap match, yeah. Ninety-one. Very significant. Give me like a hint, and I'll get it. It. But don't give it to me. Okay. This is, this is serious for me. Okay. Well, the good guy. Well, there's two good guys, obviously, versus three bad guys, and the one bad guy. Well, the two. Oh, uh, Ted DiBiase no. and IRS. No. Dang. Money Inc. Money Inc. It's not Money, Money Inc. Incorporated. Yeah, that yeah. was the tag team of the century. You, but the but but the two of the three sort of bad guys are pretty much like not mega stars. Like they were kind of just role players. That's okay. I'll get it. Give me a hint. It had to do almost with the USA versus. Um, that wasn't when Hogan made his comeback either. Mm-mm. That was more like WrestleMania Nine style. That was WrestleMania Nine when he made his comeback at the Coliseum. Wow. Hold on, wow. stand by. I have that one on VHS. Oh jeez. See, you're making fun of me because I have a VCR, but you have VHS tapes. Is tape that too. still a Savage era in '91? Ma- Macho Man? Yeah. He married Elizabeth. That was the match made oh, in heaven. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Miss Elizabeth, oh. R.I.P. I have two VCRs at home, just so you know, because I still dub one to the other. Oh, okay. Well, see? Yeah. You, they, even though they stopped making VHS tapes, they're they're still useful. Yeah. I, to me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like Owen Hart, Coco Beware. Owen Hart. Um, what was there? Oh, high energy. That was high, high energy, energy. But no, 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 no. And it's 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 main eventers. We're talking. This is the main event. Think about it. Ninety one. Come on. Who is top of the card here? Top of the card. I just have to let you know, you what? guys are losing the, your audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me who it was. Okay, okay, so it was. Give me one of them, and I'll get the pair. Well, Hulk Hogan. It paired with. Who's the handicap? He was. It had to be him and somebody else. Him and Warrior. Him and Warrior. Versus. Warrior one or two. First Warrior. This was this was actually Warrior's last match before he did Vince to give him. This is on behind the scenes. This wasn't like on the show. He demanded one million dollars for that match, or he was going to quit. And Vince said no way. He went out, did the match, and Warrior was gone. Okay. That was the first time Warrior appeared. There's officially no one in the chat room, so let's finish it. Yeah. Who else? Was okay, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan versus Sergeant Slaughter, General Adnan, and Colonel, Colonel Mustafa. Holy crap! Yeah, that was a. It was great. It was great. I watch it all the time. I've, I know exactly what happens, but I still watch it like a, like a, yeah. I watch it this morning before I got here. That's now, have you, four have you burned a copy of the DVD just until the, cause no the tape could break? That's true. Then That's true. But it is on. Stretch. It exists. It exists on DVD somewhere. You should time the match because it could be getting longer every time you watch it, and slower. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Anyways, whatever. Let's let's let's. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to cell phone talk. Was Jim Ross still like? No, Jim Ross was. It was Gorilla Monsoon. Gorilla Monsoon and Vince McMahon were the announcers. Wow, that's way old school. And Roddy Piper. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's now. I'm gonna show you something, Katie. I got I got something back here. So this is my one phone here, BlackBerry. It's my work phone. Hate it. Here's my other phone. Are you ready for a laugh? Yeah. The Verizon NV1. (laughs) It is a relic. In the technology world, starring a, pi- a picture of my niece, Devin. That's cute. Super cute. That's cute. Um, but yeah, I think I'm the only person who owns this phone to this day. What do, you, what do you think about What do you think about that? I think you're a little behind the curve, but you have a BlackBerry to make up for it. Yeah, so, so this is $50 a month. My BlackBerry I don't pay for, so why get a new phone? 
No, I think you're fine. Okay. But I want to know this story about yes. a phone exploded in Texas. Yes. I'm Tell us about Texas that. Texas is. He had a Droid 2, which is a relatively very new very phone. Very right. Smartphone. He, um, he heard a pop, and all of a sudden he pulled his phone away, and the phone actually exploded in his ear. And it's a big headline news story. So we're basically just breaking down the conversation of, you know what, is this an anomaly? Has this happened before in the past? And, of course, we've heard those stories where it wasn't just cell phones. We've heard nanos exploding. We've heard laptop batteries exploding. And lithium-ion batteries, as we know, are kind of the way that portable electronics are skewing. Right. They're lightweight. They hold six times the charge, but they are a more volatile battery. But I think we all have to step back from the story because it is an isolated example, but at the same time, there's always going to be a defective product. And we don't know what happened with right. this man's case, but there is always going to be a defective product. And in millions if, of batteries, of course, something like this could happen. Sure. Absolutely. So we're talking about different preventative ways, mainstream ways that, you know, you can't avoid this situation because who wants that to happen to them? Right. Because no one wants a phone to explode in your ear. Um, now, what are some of these preventative ways? I think the first big one, people don't realize that counterfeit devices in the electronic world are a hundred billion dollar problem. Right. And especially in China, you know, it's, it's easy to go buy a knockoff refurb device that you're picking up for half the cost. And you have to think about it. Listen, if you're getting a cell phone, you're going to want a really great device. Right. You don't want, you're using this all day. Don't cheap out and save 50 bucks right. to get a poorly made counterfeit device. Be careful when you're shopping on eBay if it's too good to be true on Craigslist. But also just make sure you're buying from an authorized dealer as well. All smartphones come with a limited warranty. You get to try that phone out for 30 days. You'll know immediately if you are having a battery problem. If there is a short, it's going to overheat and you can feel it. It's going to be uncomfortable. Right. Also, don't buy a cell phone or a something battery from your local bodega. <laughs> and that's really easy to do. Right. You know, I didn't. I missed that point when we were talking about it um, on air. But yeah, I mean, in New York, it's so funny. Down the streets, it amazes me all the little setup shops. Like, who would buy an iPad or a laptop right. or a cell phone from there? You're Probably out yeah. of your mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just asking for. It. I think when it comes to one device, two, laptop and cell phone. Do it the right way. Right. Get the warranty if necessary and make the right choices. So if you're a you know, savvy online shopper, how do you know that what you're purchasing is not a counterfeit, you know, counterfeit product? I think it's really like fundamental, but I think you have to shop at an authorized dealer. Right. And read the reviews and read the comparisons. I mean, as soon as you get a phone, too, it's like buying a handbag, I say. If you're not tech savvy, you know that the logo is a little off or something's misspelled. I mean, right, right, right. clear red flag that it is a counterfeit. But another thing that we did talk about, too, is the elements. You know, with a lithium-ion battery, it's easy when you're just cooking in the kitchen to leave your phone down in a hot place mm. or leave it in the car when you're getting groceries on a really hot day. Those chemicals, they don't mix. You don't want your cell phone in a hot box right. where, you know, something is going to set it off. Yeah. And I know another one of your tips was just simply don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone. And another one I love is a lot of people, you know, how many times you've been over at a friend's house and you're like, do you have a charger? And you're like, yeah, just because it fits the plug doesn't mean yeah. that it's giving you the right voltage or right. the right currency. And you can easily fry something pretty mm -hmm. quick. Yeah. And a lot, if you're overseas, you got to have the converter. Yeah. Because if you can totally mess up your laptop in two seconds, right? Something to think about, absolutely. Yeah. So, what you know, I drop my phone probably once a day, but I have a phone from 2005, so I don't care. <laughs> but, I mean, do, do you have, like, a weird rule of thumb that you, like, you know, always keep your phone in the same pocket? Or, all, you know, do you, do you have something that can teach people how to not be an idiot with their phones? I'm pretty bad with my phone, I have to be completely honest. But I have it in a case. You're not supposed to keep it by metals, believe it or yeah, not, because, yeah. again, that metal rubbing up to the lithium-ion battery is, again, another recipe for disaster, potentially. But um, if you do drop it, battery damage could happen yeah. so it's just important i think again we're underestimating the power of our cell phones these days and right. taking care of them and i think you just have to be smart so you know i'm a jerk who has two phones and i yeah. hate i hate that and, and people <laughs> oh, you must be real cool i'm like actually i'm a huge loser i have two phones i hate it but like what do you think of like they always say like you shouldn't carry your phone in your front pocket because of I don't know, waves, and especially if you're a dude, like, it can cause cancer. Like, do you believe that kind of stuff? I mean... It's interesting. This has been a topic that comes out 
every few months. And the FCC has regulations about how much radiation is coming out of the phone, and there's right. different cases that can protect from different levels of radiation. There honestly isn't enough right now to saying what's being emitted. And the FCC says the frequencies are so incredibly low that it doesn't affect. Right. I think as we start to figure it out more, and, and especially now, listen, we're living in this completely digital age, whereas mm -hmm. We are being exposed to it more and more and more. This right. isn't like 1950. These yes. things are on us 24-7. Exactly, yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see in the next few months and years more so how it's going to pan out. And they say the same thing about Wi-Fi, too. They say Wi-Fi yeah. is a big a big uh, component of that. Well, it's so weird. This I think it was Switzerland just came out with a study last week that Wi-Fi was killing trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. I mean, so do, we'll you, do, you, do you buy into that? Do you think that that's, uh, that's legitimate or what? I think it's potentially legitimate. All right. yeah. Now, Katie, before you go, yep. give us your number one top tech holiday gift. Is it the Connect? Because tons of people are talking about the Connect. I'm gonna I'm gonna go give you the generic. I'm gonna give you the quirky. Okay. So the Consumer Electronic Association will agree with me. They say the next thing to peace and happiness is, of course, the iPad. That is my favorite gadget, and the Connect is a strong number two. Okay. But if you wanted something really quirky and amazing, I'm gonna recommend the Mini Donut Factory. Yes, that's twenty dollars. You can get that on Think Geek. And it what? makes six donuts in three minutes, and it's amazing. Baked, not fried. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The mini, who makes it? That's a Think Geek product. Okay. Wow. Yes. How about that? Oh, well, mini. Don't so, say I didn't supply you with any material today. Yeah, well, you absolutely did. I'm going to pick that up for my little nephew, Brody. He'll, he'll love that. <laughs> so if you ever want to borrow my SummerSlam 91 tape, you let me know. Okay. All right.